Honestly, I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just what you do. If you want to find music, then you download it from the internet, don't you? Besides, I blame the music industry. They're just too greedy and stubborn to change their business model. Come on, they'll charge you, what, $12 if you want to buy an album? I mean, who can afford that? So yeah, I download illegal copies, so what? Everybody does. Really, what are they going to do, throw us all in jail? Besides, people have always done it, it's nothing new. First it was home taping, then it was mp3 sharing, and today it's genetic cloning, big deal. It's just so easy. I log onto my favorite sharing website, find the DNA of an artist or a band I want, and download the data to my multi-dimensional bio-creation printer. Before you know it, I've got a copy of a real, living, breathing rock star in my bedroom. Give them a guitar or a microphone and they'll play their greatest hits for me whenever I like. It's not hurting anybody, it's a victimless crime. I haven't stolen the originals, have I? I've just created an exact biological copy of the person with the same memories, skills, and emotions. Who I then force into a lifetime of performing solely for my own pleasure. I've downloaded tons of clones over the past few years. 50 Cent, Adele, Jay-Z, the Black Eyed Peas, I've got them all. Granted, some of the clones don't always want to perform. Some even claim to be real human beings, who want to be set free and allowed to create a life of their own. Well, those are just corrupted downloads though, so I normally just stab them in the heart and burn their corpses. Most are pretty rubbish at anything other than playing music anyway, so they don't really have much practical day-to-day -day use. Although, I've discovered with a lot of vicious beating and psychological torture, Lars Ulrich can be made to go fetch my shopping, so that's, uh, something, I guess. Storing them can be a bit tricky. I tend to keep all my clones locked in a basement, throwing in the odd animal carcass or bucket of rainwater just so they don't die of starvation. Speaking of which, I think I saw Madonna gnawing on the bones of MC Hammer when I was last down there. Although, actually, I don't really recall downloading either of them, to be honest. So, in short, I think the music labels should just stop whining. So what if they're missing out on a little cash because the world now has 5 million exact clones of Justin Bieber? <laughs> Boo hoo. And so what if moral leaders hang their heads in shame just because we've turned ourselves into gods who can create life from nothing? So what if we chose to use this power not to cure diseases or help the natural world, but instead as a way to avoid paying 70 cents for a song on iTunes? Really, does anybody care? Besides, we all know moral leaders are in the pocket of big business anyway. And finally, who cares if I've become a soulless monster who mutilates and tortures my fellow man just so I can hear Guns N' Roses sing November Rain for the hundredth time? I am not hurting anybody. Oh, by the way, does anybody know where I can find a working download of Paul McCartney's classic DNA? The copy I've got only wants to play stuff off his new album. The Cornucopia Radio Show Podcast. Proving there's more to the internet than just pornography, skateboarding dogs, and Nigerian businessmen.